Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Mosaic Safety Controller System Hardware Unboxing. So up, up here, you'll up here on my screen here, you'll see that we have our connector. We'll just set that aside. And the first box we have is our Mosaic uh, M1 Master Unit. And you'll see Mosaic actually stands for Modular Safety Integrated Controller. So let's open this up. And we have, uh, we download the configuration software, it gives us a location for that. We open it up and we have our uh, instruction. So there's the mod, uh, master module. Take the box out. Unfold a la carte board. And here is my uh, safety module, our master or main unit, unit. And you can see here that we have eight digital inputs, two inputs for start, stop, interlock, and device monitoring, which is the EDM. We have um, two OSSD, which is output signal switching device, and they work in pairs. We have te four test uh, outputs. We have two programmable uh, digital signal outputs. And then with this master unit, because it's modular, we can also um, add to this up to 14 expansion modules. So we can get 128 inputs. We can have 16 um, EDMs or, or external device monitoring with restarts. Uh, we have 16 safety outputs and 32 status outputs. Now, one of the main advantages is that this reduces our number of devices and wiring used to the overall project itself, and it speeds up our panel construction. And um, we also have software that allows for tamper-proof configurations. Right? And all logic is configured through our graphic interface that we will uh, look at in a next uh, episode. So this is the M1, and it looks like a nice, nice little unit. And we have our instruction manual. Next, what we'll do is take a look at our Mosaic MOS digital output. These are eight. So we'll open this up. Again, on the back, on the box here, we have our expansion unit. Uh, guide eight output expansion unit and it goes through the wiring configuration etc and then we have our actual unit itself and you'll notice that we actually have this in black and it's in black because uh, it's not a safety device. It's just a relay output uh, device. So anything in yellow will be our safety. Anything in black is not a safety device. So what fell off is our connector that came on the back here. So our connector actually uh, plugs right into the, the unit there. So you can see how that goes in. So then next we have our safety relay. So open that up. And once again, we have our instructions for the safety relay. Unbox this. And here we go. This is our safety relay. And according to the box, our, our safety relay um, will have two normally open and one normally closed EM, or EDM 
which is the interlock for your safety device monitoring. So, and then we have the our connector. And if we open up our connector, here we go. You'll see a connecting device, and then we have plugs for either end that we can snap on. So if we take a look at the back, you'll see that we do not need, uh, do not remove that label. Okay. So this module, because it's um, a standalone safety relay, it does not require the bus system. Then we have our, our um, main unit. Okay. And there's our memory. It goes in there. Then we have our output unit. Okay, so let's remove that that connector. And what we will do is um, connect the next one to it. So it just snaps in, and we will put our our end caps on this unit, one there, and one here. So there's our connector connected. And what we will do is um, we will put these onto our DIN rail. So here's our DIN rail. We'll mount that over top. snaps on then what we can do is we can add our our first module um, which I snapped it on the wrong way <laughs> so we'll just take that off we'll put this back on and it just snaps on like that and what we'll do is we'll add our master unit And you can see it clicking in. Then we will add next our um, our relay. Actually, not a relay, but our uh, status output. So that again takes connector, and it goes right beside it. And we'll just snap that in place. And then we can take our uh, safety relay module and snap it into place. So there is our system. And you'll notice that we do have a separate power supply here that we'll be feeding into our, our safety controller. Now, detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. And a link has been put in the description below. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want to get our two free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure that you hit the subscribe button so you can get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Alright, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.